Uh, Amatullah, welcome to uh, my podcast, Mind Spark. Uh, are you excited to be here? I'm super duper excited, Jyoti, uh, seeing you. And thank you so much for uh, bringing me in here. It's all my pleasure. You're most welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited that uh, you are like uh, the first guest on this podcast. And when I, when I started like thinking about the about this uh, concept, I was like, I have to invite you because you have an amazing journey and amazing story to share with the audience. And I'm sure everybody is going to be so inspired. So I'm uh, looking forward and so excited to share this conversation online with others as well. <laughs> so welcome once again. Story so huge and it's definitely touch to me I'm, <laughs> I'm also hoping that of course if i'm able to inspire even a one person then it's worth it definitely yes <laughs> Uh, so Amatullah, I mean, just to share with the audience, um, Amatullah and me know, know each other from quite some time, like quite a few years, you can say. And uh, we have also worked together. She was working with me in, in Kaya Skin Clinic and uh, Anjali Mukherjee's Health Total as well. And currently she is a healing coach and she's doing amazing job online with her. Uh, uh, she's a coach. So she's, she's helping so many people to heal uh, from their childhood traumas and find their way in their life. So it, it 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 is inspiring so much to me on like almost on daily basis so i wanted to get her here so amatula now uh, it, from your uh, side like uh, what are you doing today and how are you helping people like um, currently what is your status like today what are you doing uh, jyoti presently i am a certified life coach and along with that of course i am doing holistic healing so my expertise is more in inner child and uh, Reiki healing. So this is the way mm -hmm. I help out people because uh, I feel along with coaching, the healing modalities definitely help them and uh, nothing I could find more better than, you know, uh, inner child healing. So right. this is what I do presently. Definitely. I think it's uh, really important and uh, I don't know how many people know that, but I was just watching some uh, recent podcast and a uh, few amazing uh, people and uh, uh, they say that uh, actually a child i mean a human being basically is fully developed uh, mentally uh, by 9 years old so like it starts from 3 years old to 9 years old they're ap completely developed with their attitude mindset behavior everything so later on of course there is schooling and there is parenting and there are uh, several learnings but still you, at the core you are uh, what you are uh, in that age itself what you said is absolutely right uh, jyoti and in fact when i was going through my inner healing of uh, inner child healing that's when i also discovered that whatever pattern uh, we carry in our adulthood is basically from a childhood only and they are the traumas because when i was introduced i was little uh, you know taken back by this word trauma so i mm. thought i do not have as such trauma so even a happy person, you know, happy adult also would be carrying some traumas, may not be aware of it. So mm. it definitely, uh, you know, helps you. Right, right. So true. Uh, so Amutra, just walk me uh, through your journey, like start from your childhood, like how was your childhood? How did you grow? What was the environment and uh, how did you like what, your journey from childhood basically? In short, of course, it would not be possible, but uh, let <laughs> me uh, take you through the childhood where uh, I am basically born and brought, uh, brought up in Kolkata. So okay. uh, my parents, uh, I come from a middle class family and a small family where, you know, parents are there and kids have been brought up and been told you need to work, but we never had any um, dreams or desires to aspire at a mm -hmm. you know, bigger level mm -hmm. because we were all, always from my uh, father's side I, I was told that you know save money you do not have uh, you know uh, leisure or something in your life that you have to you know go through it so it was okay sort but yes happy that you know grown through all the ups and downs uh, in my life and have come up to this level otherwise i wouldn't have come uh, what am i right now so mm -hmm. as far i'm grateful to universe for 
whatever i had in my childhood yeah of course of course so how about your family it's like uh, you and your sister right yes uh me and my sister both are working and taking care of the family so it was uh, i started pretty late because mm-hmm. i had no uh, intention to be working uh, way back in 80s it was a time where you are uh, generally got married very soon so i got married when i was hardly 19 years old because oh my god uh, 14 years i was engaged and wow. uh, they were expecting me to get married at that time but my mama she took my stand and she said no let her at least complete schooling so mm. there's where you know uh, my major i would say my dream of uh, 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 learning or studying couldn't uh, fulfill because of mm. this marriage so when i was 32 that's the time i started career otherwise i had okay. no any uh, career thing in my mind that i have to work in on so my father gave up working uh, pretty very soon so it was me and my sister who were the breadwinners and okay. uh, it started uh, okay with all uh, you know a roller coaster ride for both of us mhm right so right we are handling though my father it's been 7 years passed away okay. but yes we are the sons of the family right 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 and rightly said so uh when did you come to bangalore i came to bangalore when i was uh, in 1991 okay 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 so you got married and you came to bangalore or like yes, how was it yes i got married in 1991 and after okay. uh, like a month or two i came to bangalore and i started as i told it was around in at the age of 32 where i felt mm-hmm. that uh, financially independent uh, is so important for mm. any woman be right. it single married you have to because unfortunately i did not had a very good uh, family who supported mm-hmm. me uh, financially or emotionally okay and, okay and uh, that was my drawback right 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 so how did you like uh, got that got this motivation like you have been at home like all this years and uh, it it's very difficult i know from personal experiences as well as, well as from other people around me that once you are at home it's very difficult to uh, get out of the house and start working so how did you get the courage and the motivation to do so uh, this credit will definitely go to my younger sister who okay. started working when she was 14 years because i was married and she was the person to take care and mm-hmm. when she came back uh, she moved to uh, the uh, bangalore because she had some good uh, job opportunity so she okay. was staying with me and that's where i found that being independent it's so important and moreover the freedom the women has that ac- uh, actually inspired me that the freedom you know to do what you want what you want to have in your life and along with that freedom you also earn a respect that tag of respect you earn i was always uh, you know yearning for that and that's why i started with all the odds though there was a lot of pressure that i should not be working but uh, i overcame all those and to support that a uh, decision my parents also shifted to bangalore just to support okay. that because i have a special child and if i'm working out there has to be someone to take care of her so my mom stepped in taking care of her like till 17 years i was working and i never had to look back that who is there to support me but my family they were my greatest strength and pillar till date so that's how wow. i went it out wow that's that's really amazing i mean parents are really great and they are our biggest cheerleaders biggest supporters and i don't think so without them we could do anything or achieve anything in our lives <laughs> so uh, amutula tell me what was your first job and uh, how was your first day how did you feel like you know if you remember like the first day when you stepped in uh, i i i suppose it was kaya skin clinic your first job right no not uh, exactly kaya skin clinic okay. was uh, uh, i remember it was at mg road in bangalore if anybody mm-hmm. is in bangalore they would come to know it was a hotel algate 
uh, now it is not there and it was just a mere reception job and i remember till date when i was applying i told my sister that i don't know anything and what am i going to do there and she said you're going as a fresher but i had so much uh, mindset roadblocks and beliefs that i felt even a fresher will do what you know i was not able to even understand the term what does a fresher means you mm. know mm. so <laughs> i got that job and that was my very first job and from there i came to know that there is also something known as kaya skin clinic because my sister was there and she was uh, you know in that clinic and when i saw i felt like i just want to be there i want to be working after three attempts i uh, got into kaya skin cleaning and then okay. it was a turning point in my life i will, i will say it was a breakthrough for me of course of course i i totally uh, can understand because uh, that time in the in that uh, i think it was a 2008 right and i came to know about casting in 2000 around 2008 2009 when i had come for some other job training to bangalore and bangalore that time was like this huge uh, city with full of opportunities and uh, especially uh, if you're coming from a small town i was coming from pune and for me it was like oh my god my like eyes were so big looking at the uh, buildings and the the even and the beautiful thing about bangalore is that they still have trees so so that so that was like oh my god i want to come to this city so i can totally imagine how you must have felt that time so how was your uh, journey in kaya and then moving on to uh, different jobs and different responsibilities how how was it kaya was i I'll, if you tell me you know like what did kaya do kaya spoiled kaya had literally spoiled us <laughs> in the sense that it was so you know the professional level and everything i mean a person who is a lay person like a person like me who went there and after 3 months of training and everything what kaya gives you are such a polished person be it be your self development be your grooming your etiquette handling clients doing services uh i joined as a, a skin therapist but then mm-hmm. i moved up to become a manager so from the journey from there to there it was huge so wow. it, how long did you did it take for you from skin therapist to uh, to a manager it took me 2 years from okay that therapist. that's nothing 2 years so is very from, short uh, skin no no skin therapist it was a client coordinator on from there it was a manager's role so it was almost 5 years in uh, kaya skin clinic and then i moved on to other you know then i think i felt like exploring other areas so i moved to salon industry so of course mm-hmm. it is not the same because uh, clinics will work aesthetically deeper level of transforming people and salon industry is another place but it was good the experience mm-hmm. had been good but i would never get a place like kaya that is one right thing. yeah uh, the whole uh, retail experience and the retail industry what did you learn like the maximum like what are the qualities what you learned basically oh the retail industry had taken my the person who is like a shy introvert person from there you have to bring out that uh, you know more aggressive assertive that sort of a person i think came out when i was more into sales i'm not like a very salesy person um, mm-hmm. for me it is like okay have you taken fine if you not taken okay god bless you but no in retail industry it is not like that you have to be yeah. on toes always so yes there were uh, you know a great experience and learning uh, where the retail industry has given to me and of course that also you know each of the learning helps you out in various areas of your life so that of is course. what uh, it has imp- uh, imparted to me right 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 did you decide to start your like uh, leave the job industry per se and then how did you move on to the coaching industry and uh, what motivated you like what made you uh, you know transition from uh, employee perspective to uh, like a business perspective from a, like a to a coach perspective all didn't happen you know it was not something decided it just happened uh, during uh, it was again in 2020 the mm-hmm. corona period 
uh, I was working, I was very happy in my salon la industry, working as a manager, it was very comfortable, very nice. But all of a sudden, uh, there came a uh, medical emergency and I had to go for my surgery. So I thought, okay, maybe after a month, I will be back. I will be all right. But it took me around four months. It was four months of rest. And in between March, uh, everything was closed down. And that's where I had no job opportunities. And after which also, there were no jobs actually. So mm -hmm. during that time in 2021, I, you know, explored like into online space. And that's when I thank you for that. Because if you wouldn't have been there and if I wouldn't have seen your, uh, you know, post on the FB group of HPA, I wouldn't have been, you know, over here. Oh. And that was my first step towards, you know, online thing and from HPA I think universe guided me like I started my journey as a VA and SMM and uh, one fine then day I discovered that I have a passion for life coaching so let me just follow that and that's how I land, landed into you know becoming a life coach and then of course healer so this is how right. it goes Right. For the audience listening, VA is virtual assistant and SMM is social media management, which uh, uh, gives you a lot of opportunities to freelance from any part of the world and you can serve your clients and you can earn money in return. So, yeah. Uh, so definitely, yes, that has been a turning point in my life as well. And uh, I think uh, her Post Academy, uh, Saloni, Sure, must be getting a lot of blessings every day because she has made so many women financially independent, given like kind of a second chance uh, to have a career, to be financially independent, to have that freedom and to have that confidence to uh, live in your life, of course. So uh, what challenges, you know, like... Uh, uh, have you faced in your personal life because of course um, i think at a certain after a certain point of time in your life uh, as you age and as you get wise i'm i'm definitely today sure that once you like once you start aging and uh, at a certain point you definitely get wisdom a lot of wisdom and uh, it just happens it just comes uh, i guess and um that uh, uh, ignites or creates a kind of a passion what you wanted in your life forever i feel like you know you you are reintroduced to your passions your interest and i think it gives you a lot of clarity as well that what you want to do today and in the next coming years in your life so i can see you as a coach online and uh, i can see that radiance that confidence and that surety and clarity what was missing earlier and uh, i'm very much drawn and attracted to people who radiate positivity and uh, after seeing your post you know I, I just felt that yes and you know you are my tribe kind of you know <laughs> uh, positive and giving person and want to help and do something for the world you know so so that's really great I mean uh, kudos to you from coming from where you are and today uh, to be be such an amazing human being Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jyoti, for those kind words. And yes, I will agree to you because uh, when this transition happened, of course, I wasn't aware of it. Of course, it was a blessing in disguise where I was cribbing that why this thing has happened to me right now and why it always happens to me. This was what I used to, you know, nag about it. But then when I started coming in and uh, when eventually I landed into life coaching, and now when I look back, you know, three years back, I feel, yes, this is what I wanted. In fact, I was looking for something long, long back. But then uh, as the, you know, uh, word or saying goes, na, ke, uh, where whatever happens will happen at the right time. So you just have to wait for it and have the patience. And mm. now when, you know, I have many people also telling me that why, you know, at this stage, I mean, this is not the age to do all this thing. I mean, you have mm -hmm. done 50s and why you have to go through all this thing? But no, this is my passion. I just want to help people, you know, the way I have gone through in my life where I had no clarity and had a lot of limiting beliefs. And because of all this, I was a person who had um, low self-esteem and I had suffered a lot because of that. 
in my uh, be it my personal life be it my professional life so i want to help women and empower them so that they live a fuller life with you know utmost clarity unshakable confidence and foster self compassion for themselves this yeah. is my mission for them right right and that is so um, relatable what you are saying like you know i mean um uh, me uh, from my personal experience as well i have been like so hard on I, hard, hard on myself all over the years and i'm still i struggle i always uh, feel like i'm kind to others but i feel i don't deserve kindness i'm very hard on myself and that is what uh, we need i think uh, in the uh, today's women and also the future women we need to be kinder to ourselves and uh, okay you can have it all but uh, that that doesn't mean that you have to do it all you know you can uh, take help or you can you are allowed to take a step back and it's okay to do like say two things instead of five things you know it's okay to just breathe and give yourself that time and that uh, you know like compassion as you said so yeah yeah i have been uh, even uh, talking with you and also have realized so many uh, things about myself and techniques which help me to also look back and you know take a step back as well so yeah that, that's really uh, required in today's world uh, especially for women required you very much yeah yeah so um like uh, what is your like day to day motivation of course uh, i know that uh, we have this uh, inner desire and inner strength i feel that keeps us going daily but what is your personal motivation and how you motivate yourself from day to day i like to be very honest jyoti something like i i will not over here say that yes i am always motivated uh, or i am positive all the days it is not possible being a human so yes there are days where i am fully pumped up okay i'm going to do this work or i'm going to give my client this but even there are low days also but there's a difference now what i was before and what i am right now it's all because of my life coaching tools that never lets me sit down if i am low today okay i will try to figure out okay i am low why am i low today what i have to do i mean i try to you know analyze everything and after that i feel ke okay this is the reason this is the cause okay let me work on it then i mean this has happened i okay. uh, you know uh, go back and tell my mentor also god knows what you have done to me i mean i don't feel like crying also like i was a person emotionally sensitive somebody if say something to me i'm almost in tears or if something is not going my way i get demotivated and i want somebody to you know like sympathize me i'm not like that anymore so i tell my mentor what have you done to me you know so i feel good about it so i my mantra would be for every day is never giving up that is my mantra what i follow okay i have fell down today fine but i need to get up and do because i see a bigger picture for myself now and i just want to reach there so for that every day keep moving that's yes. what i do totally agree 100% <laughs> so uh, uh we all have uh, so many uh, challenges you know and as i think the days are passing and the world is changing especially after pandemic i think we have become so selfish i feel everybody is just looking um the maximum their uh, thought process can go is that okay me myself my husband my kids that's it the world is over you know that kind of a world we are living in it's it's harsh uh, reality but it is truth we can't deny it but uh, yes uh, there are very few people like us we who we try uh, to expand and to lend a helping hand or to look someone with kindness and try to help them so in this um, very difficult world we live in what is your strength and what is your support system on daily basis uh, like how uh, uh, like who supports you today and you know that is what uh, uh, matters the most so who who will you uh, say that yes this is the my support system and that keeps me going my support system undoubtedly is my family and my mother is the utmost you know 
I would say she's my backbone, everything mm-hmm. she is. And my sister, I mean, if anything is there, even today when she, I know certain things she don't understand, but still I'll go back to her and I'll tell mom, this is what I want to do or this is it not going wrong. And she will just listen to me. Even she doesn't understand because if I have to, you know, make her understand very, you know, uh, in, you know, very, uh, I would say layman language. Because certain mm-hmm. things about my business, she can't understand. But still, I will go to her and I will say, you know, mama, this went wrong or this I'm not doing. Wrong. She will only tell me, have patience. It will go right. Of course, now you are a life coach. Why should I advise you? <laughs> so it's like that. But yes, my family and my husband, who is always, you know, he encourages me that, yes, whatever you are doing, just do it. Don't think about much that ye hoga ki nahi, or this will happen or not or what results will come. If you go where, you know, behind the results, things mm-hmm. will not happen. Just follow the process and that's it. So, True. yes, I will say my family is always there for me. So blessed. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, definitely. So uh, currently you're living with in uh, in Bangalore with your family, right? Right, right, right. So... Right, right. So you are like, um, uh, like, how does a typical day you can say like looks like in your life, like being an online coach, I know, and uh, I have been also working online uh, for some time. So I know how uh, it can create a lot of challenges, it it can sometimes feel lonely, or sometimes you might feel like, uh, you know, that you need to belong somewhere or to a group or a community or so how do you tackle those challenges? And is that a challenge? Or you are like okay with it like how is it uh initially yes it was challenging Mm -hmm. because you know uh when i used to hear from people that only working at home then you become you know i mean not meeting outside because prior to that i was all in all out i used to just spend uh coming back home was just few hours but now it's like totally in the home so yes initially i did have challenges i was like going berserk i couldn't knew what I need to do, you know. And when I used to come out and the sunlight and everything, oh my God, I used to feel so good about it. But now as, you know, I'm passing the days, I'm getting, you know, more adjusted to it. But uh, having said that, I will like have my five days or six days and the seventh day, maybe a Sunday, I would want to go out and spend. And I have made a pattern or a routine that in between at least for half an hour for a day i should go out and my days are yes super uh, hectic because i have my business also i have to take care of my home also my mother my kid and plus i don't have a helper it's from Mm -hmm. the time from 2020 i'm not uh, you know i did that year one year but then i have uh, come to know that i can manage so with my mother's help who is almost around 76 years old but still you know she helps me. She helps me in cooking and my husband helps me in the daily, uh, you know, household errands and all. So this way we, uh, you know, each other gives, you know, and takes. So it's a time when he helps me and I. So I think we are able to manage pretty well. So that's how I, you know, make sure that my things are going smooth. Yeah, yeah. That's so good to hear. And that's so amazing. So currently, how many like uh, people you're mentoring or do, what what offers and services and products you have right now in your uh, business? Presently, like uh, I've just uh, uh, just a couple of days enrolled one uh, amazing person on my program. I cater to only one on one program, my premium program. Okay. Um, okay. So that is there. And also presently, I'm running my uh, seven day power up uh, workshop, which is on building confidence. So okay. I have a WhatsApp group and people are pretty doing really well. And I would like and it's a free workshop, by the way. So if anyone right. and interested or want to connect with me, I do have a free breakthrough call also for 60 minutes. So this is what right. I am right. doing. It. And yes. apart from that, I also have my inner child healing and Reiki sessions as well. 
that's wonderful and i'm uh, for for those who are listening i am going to mention everything in the show notes uh, if you're watching on spotify and if you're watching on uh, youtube i am you can check in the description all the details about uh, amatulla and her uh, offerings and her healing uh, programs in the description so you can definitely check it out later whenever you have the time or the need uh, so uh, what are your plans for the future amatulla everything is going so amazing so what what more you want to achieve in life more of course it is always there it's like for people are never you know uh contented with what uh, has but yes my presently uh, mission is to help more and more uh, you know individuals uh, because i am seeing you know ki uh, this is something which is lacking majorly people you know they are they want instant results for each and everything they don't uh, have anybody to uh, have a uh, uh, to hear them out nobody's mm. having that time also so when i see and i interact with my clients and i can see that they are opening up and they feel that feel so light hearted when you know talking and somebody is there to listen so i want to be there reach out to more and more people uh, you know right and you know be there for them to live their life you know i would not say okay it's one time you i want them to live their life each day a better life that's what my aim is wow that's really noble and so such an amazing uh plan to have for the future because as i said that is the need of the hour definitely and it's going to be needed much more in the coming years i am very very sure of that uh like you know kindness is getting like less and less in the world and uh, that is going to be needed definitely in the future so if people like you are there then we don't have to worry about anything that's for sure i think we need to triple or i would say 10x or more we need to make our numbers more about it so that right. you know more and more people will be there to help each other right 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 so as a coach uh, you can um, can you give me any, any advice for people who are uh, going through something in life currently or they're not able to figure out uh, certain things what is that one thing what you uh, recommend for them to do it like immediately basis immediately so that they can feel little better or come like you know um, on a certain level of say uh, feeling good yeah what is the one thing you can uh, recommend that they can do immediately uh see something which i am seeing presently even just uh, before this call i was having a you know phone call with one of a uh, client and it was like mm-hmm. she is into too many things and mm-hmm. there's where i told her that your le- uh, clarity is not there because you have putting your eggs in all the baskets and now she doesn't knows and moreover she wants everything instantly so this mm-hmm. is uh i would say the concern for generation the, uh this generation they want everything instant which will not happen and that's where they get more anxious about it they feel demotivated so my advice is whatever you feel just take one thing at a time and master it okay that will also help you to be less anxious it will build your confidence and you will get more clarity in future so that is what i would uh, want people to say that have patience in life right 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 definitely yes i mean yes definitely like the younger generation also like every everything is like every nobody has patience anymore and everything is like instant even the um online we say that even the audience uh, attention span is reduced like earlier it was like say uh, we used to have long format content like youtube videos long long 30 minutes 40 minutes and we we used to enjoy um uh, in, involving listening to someone and now later on it reduced to just one minute and now it's like you know what 3 to 4 seconds which is like alarmingly dangerous and uh, especially for the future generation i mean okay fine we have it we are learning observing and rectifying and accepting few things but what about the next generation what what is the world going to be <laughs> nobody has time to take time to smell the flowers or just to slow down that's and that's when all the problems and crop up 
because of my right. patients definitely yes 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 so what advice you have like um, uh, for anybody who wants to maybe uh, start into like online coaching or any women who are listening who are looking for an alternative career or they are stuck in uh, their life and they want to um, get financially independent uh, what do you recommend like what are the like maybe first couple of uh, steps they can take and uh, they can start their career uh see yeah. it would be like just follow your passion just see what is your gut telling you to do it is it life coaching or is it anything i would say just follow uh, your heart and uh, put in your 100% to do whatever you want to do it's not like okay two days i have done and i have not got the result so i should leave it don't do that way mm. just follow your heart give it time give time to yourself also to understand that is that for me and then just you know do it properly this is what where i am seeing even the uh, people who are getting into life coaching they are looking for instant result it is not something ha- will happen instantly okay and if you really feel that you really uh, you are a person who wants to help somebody then you can go for it definitely so intention uh, first of all should be to help and not just to earn money Absolutely. because if you start with the mindset of money it's, it's never not going, going to work, to work out. out it's not going to work out at all yeah i think that is what ma- most of the people uh, go wrong with i'm sure yes money is important you need money to it have it is important uh, but yes if you run after it it is you uh, it's it's like just you are chasing so it will mm. not yeah you. definitely definitely <laughs> Thank you so much uh, Amrita this amazing conversation and I'm sure your journey and your story what we shared today is going to inspire thousands of people and uh, hopefully I am not targeting thousand but yes I am sure and uh, even if uh, I started this podcast like even if it changes like one or two people's lives or uh, helps them in some way my job will be done and i'll be really happy that uh, you know people are finding their path and finding their ways and leading a happier and healthier life thank you so much for taking out time and coming on this podcast today and sharing your journey thank you so much uh, jyoti i am feeling really blessed and i enjoyed thoroughly and i had a wonderful time with you and uh, of course bestie so it becomes more better yes definitely definitely it's like catching up <laughs> yes of course yeah yeah at least you know at the sake of this way i just loved it yes yes definitely i loved it too and uh, let's let's have more conversations around and let's empower more people more human beings to live a happy and healthier life and thank you so much once again thank you so much for the audience as well for listening if you have um any questions or any anything you want to uh, get us back to all the details will be disp- uh, mentioned in the uh, show notes as well as in the description so do check it out and have an amazing uh, day and uh, yeah be positive be happy and i'll see you next time bye 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 thank you